Hilo has just released a brand new and much needed upgrade to their video model which is now called Hilo 2. So in this video I'll be showing you some examples as well as giving you an honest review. So let's get started. So with Hilo 2 we can finally generate videos at 1080p resolution so that means you are going to get outputs with much higher quality and fidelity. You can also generate videos that are 10 seconds long but at the moment you can currently only do that at 768p resolution so just keep that in mind and then Hilo says that the new model excels at generating enhanced dynamic effects more sophisticated physics I've seen some examples with you know acrobatics in a circus and it actually looks quite insane and they also said that it can do faster and more accurate prompt processing. At the moment you can use Hilo with text to video and image to video. The only feature where you can't use Hilo is with subject reference and subject reference allows you to do one shot character consistency but I do have a bit of a workaround for this which I'll show you in the video where you can still generate an image with character consistency and then bring it to life using Hilo 2. Anyway these are the main updates for this video model so let's continue. So in order to access Hilo 2, check the link in the description, it's going to bring you over to this page. Now just go ahead and sign in and if you guys are using a free account, they should give you 500 trial credits completely for free. So at least you'll get to try this new video model. So once you're on this page, all you want to do is click on video, which is going to bring you over to this page. So you want to make sure you actually have video selected over here because you can see there's an image tab. Yes, you can also generate images with Hilo, but I'll show you that later. For now, we're just focusing on video. So with Hilo 2, you can use it with both text to video and image to video. But let's go ahead and start with text to video. So once you've got text to video selected, also make sure that you click on this drop down arrow so that you can actually select Hilo 2. That's very important because that's the new, the new model that we want to use. If you are using a free account, you'll only be able to generate a video at 768p resolution and 6 seconds. If it is paid, you can actually generate 10 second long videos. Or you can generate a video in 1080p, but at the moment that also seems to be capped at 6 seconds. Anyway, I'm just going to generate it at 7, uh, 768p and then it's just a matter of crafting a prompt to bring it to life. So I'm going to start with a basic prompt and it's the prompt that I actually used when I generated my first video a couple months ago with Hilo 1. It's a mythical hybrid creature that is half horse, half peacock, walks through a field of white flowers during sunset. Now you can obviously type whatever you want. Uh, the quantity, this determines how many videos you'll generate in one go with the exact same prompt and then over here you can see how many credits it's going to consume. Before I click on that to generate the video, you'll notice that this button over here is usually enabled by default and you can see when I hover over this, it's essentially going to take your prompt and make it a lot more detailed a detail which can sometimes give you much better results but if you want to stay true to what you've actually typed out you actually want to disable that. In this case I'll leave it enabled and once I'm good to go it's going to enhance my prompt. I can then click on generate and on the right hand side you'll see your video start generating. Now I, al I already have my end result over here and you can see this looks beautiful right you can see uh, once I click on that, it gives me an indication of which video model was used. Uh, enable optimization means that I had uh, this button enabled, which is the prompt enhancer. And then I can also see the resolution that it generated at. And I think that looks fantastic. It's a beautiful video of this beautiful hybrid creature. And I think the Hilo 2 model has done a very good job. Now I also want to expand on this because this can be used with both text to video and image to video. Let's say I type in another prompt over here. So a cinematic shot in a circus shows a lion jumping through a flaming hoop. You can actually add some camera movement to your prompt. So if I click on this camera button, it now shows me a whole bunch of cinematic shots. Whenever I hover over one of these images, it gives me a visual indication of how the camera is going to move within the scene. So this is fantastic. So if I wanted a specific camera movement over here, maybe I want to select this camera motion called right walking. You can see it automatically inserts it into the prompt box. And this preset consists of two different camera shots to make up this right walking. So now when I click on generate, I get a really cool result like this, where the camera is tracking right within my scene and it's constantly moving right. Uh, so yes, if you want some more you know, defined camera presets and camera shots and angles and definitely make use of this. You can also go to free selection where you can combine up to three different camera angles uh, to create your own unique shots. Uh, so definitely play around with camera control 
and yeah have fun with it uh, i think it's great because whatever you see over here is usually what you are going to get with your end result so it's nice to have this camera control present and then the last feature over here is this light bulb called preset so if i click on that let's say i don't have an idea in mind for you know a prompt that i want to generate you can select some preset prompts over here that will just maybe give you some inspiration or an idea but let's say you are generating something that you you like uh, you can actually save your prompt as a preset so i can select all of this and then click on add to presets over here i can say lion hoop and then click on save so now whenever i go to my presets let's say there's nothing within my prompt box if i click on this it's automatically going to insert that prompt into the prompt box for me and then i can generate a similar shot uh, using that prompt so this is just a way to build your own prompt library directly on the platform if that's something you want to do so let's go ahead and select image to video. So when you select that, it functions exactly the same as text to video, but now you can upload your own external image. So I'm going to upload an image that I generated with ChatGPT 4.0. It's from a first person perspective, and these people are driving towards this tornado. So now it's as simple as typing in a prompt, and you can be very descriptive over here, uh, mentioning even small details, and the AI is going to do its best to bring that image to life. But you can see you also have access to the same tools. I can enable this to enhance my prompt to make it more detailed I can also select different camera controls and I can even build my own prompt library now over here I actually selected 1080p at six seconds and this is the result that it ended up giving me so quite terrifying to witness uh, but you can see this car is driving towards that tornado and I think it really understood the prompt quite well and I think the result looks amazing so this is a very good example of how good Hilo 2's prompt adherence is. Now I won't read the entire prompt, but everything mentioned over here is within this video. You guys can pause and see that for yourself. But you can be very descriptive with your prompts. I've even gone as far as mentioning, you know, accessories like these heart-shaped sunglasses or a little pineapple piece on the edge of a glass. I've mentioned text that should be present within the video as well, and even some other outlandish things like pink crocodiles and red flowers during sunset. Uh, so yes, you can be very descriptive and Hilo 2 does an exceptionally good job at generating videos with a very good prompt adherence. So the only feature that you can't use with Hilo 2 is the subject reference. You'll see that if I select this there's only Hilo 1 but I want to show you a very neat workaround. Uh, so basically subject reference allows you to upload a character's face and then it will generate you know videos with character consistency. So if you still want to do this while using Hilo 2 the first thing you need to do is you actually need to generate an image. So now instead of generating videos, let's switch over to image and now you'll, you'll actually be able to see that you can generate images. So over here, you'll see that they added in a feature called add character reference. So now you can actually add an image of your character. So in my case, I've got this image of this elderly man, this guy right over here. I can just drag and drop that over here. And you can see it's uploading the image and it's analyzing it so that it can create a reference character. Uh, once this is ready, you just simply click on confirm and you'll know you're generating images with that character's likeness whenever you see it in this section. Now you can also choose a different aspect ratio. So I left mine on 16 by 9 and you can type in a description. In this case, I typed in an elderly man wearing a brown leather a brown leather jacket sitting on a rocking chair in a fishing village and then it generates four images for you or you can obviously choose the quantity but now you are going to generate images with character consistency so i guess you kind of get an idea of where this is going right so once i've got my images over here uh, let's say i like this image uh, when i select it i can simply click on video it so now when I click on video it, it's going to switch to image to video. And I've already explained how image to video works. But now you can see that image that has character consistency can now be generated. Well, we can generate a video using Hilo 2. So that's the easiest way to get around subject reference. Just first generate an image with the character's likeness and then do image to video using Hilo 2 to bring it to life. So now I've brought this video or I brought the image to life using Hilo 2 with a consistent character. Hopefully that's helpful as I think it's a really useful workaround at the moment. But it will be nice to see Hilo 2 available in subject reference at some point. But at least you can do this and still generate videos with character consistency. 
If you want to see a more direct comparison that shows you that Hilo 2 is actually better than Hilo 1, just look at this example. Hilo 2 completely understands how to bring this image to life with this woman riding this flaming chicken. Uh, but yeah, you can see Hilo 2 has done a much better job with this example. Are you ready to see some creative use cases? Let's go! This video model does an exceptionally good job at generating catastrophes and natural disasters. So maybe you are generating a short film where you need a catastrophe to be present. So maybe there's a giant tsunami that's destroying a town. Uh, you can definitely generate something like that and it looks absolutely terrifying. But you can also prompt in other emotions uh, where the person is also displaying maybe extreme fear. And it will also generate those emotions for you. So maybe someone's in a apartment building and the city behind them is engulfed in flames and it's crumbling and collapsing and i even tried this with something outlandish i generated a tornado that's made out of human bodies and as you can see the end result is absolutely terrifying uh, so yes if you want catastrophes and natural disasters then you can definitely do it with this video model you can generate these epic large-scale battles and this video model does such a good job with this. So I tried it with a scene uh, where there's this village with the Maasai warriors and there's this giant armored baboon. In one scene they are surrounding it and then in another scene uh, this baboon is swinging this giant club and hitting a whole bunch of them and you know it just looks completely epic. Uh, but here are some other examples so that you can see what's possible uh, with this video model. It does such a good job with these large-scale battles. So definitely give this a try if you want to generate something epic. This video model does a surprisingly good job at retaining the style of an image and bringing it to life. So if you've got an image in the style of anime or something that looks like a digital painting, you can upload that and then bring it to life and it's going to retain the style without morphing into realism. And that's actually a major plus. Uh, so definitely give that a try. So on, on Hilo, uh, they actually have a feature over here, but it's for Hilo 1. It's called Hilo 1 Live that's built for animating 2D illustrations. It seems like Hilo 2 just straight out of the gate does a very good job uh, with animating you know more stylized imagery so give it a try and see what results you can end up getting so I definitely wanted to test physics and in this case I wanted to try different sports. So the first sport I wanted to try is snowboarding. So we've got someone wearing a Yeti costume, you know, they reach this ramp, they do a trick and they end up landing the trick as well. So in terms of, you know, prompt adherence, it does a very good job and the end result looks incredible. I also tried skateboarding which seems to be quite difficult for uh, qu quite a few video models, especially if a character is doing a trick. But in this case, they're not only doing a kickflip, they're also landing on this guy drill and they set in it on fire so we've got complex forms of context over here that it seems to understand as well and again the end result just speaks for itself also tried surfing so we've got someone in a hazmat suit surfing these toxic and polluted waters and this just looks very realistic and very natural so i think it did a very good job with these sports so also in line with physics, I noticed that Hilo posted an example of someone juggling. Now I had to try this, but I wanted to make it a lot more outlandish. So I generated a video of this clown juggling these flaming balls while balancing on a tightrope above a flaming pit of fire or lava in this case. And you can see the end result is incredible, right? And even the accuracy of the juggling, it did a very good job. Video models tend to really struggle with stuff like this. So I was very impressed uh, when I saw this end result. I also wanted to try another example with someone doing a backflip and again I like to choose outlandish locations. So someone's doing a backflip you know in this swampy area and there's crocodiles swimming underneath so yes you definitely don't want to land in that water. And again the result looks amazing. I tried another example over here. This one I would say is not 100% perfect. There is some wonkiness with the body uh, but the end result is just amazing. Uh, so yes this model is definitely excelling at physics. Hilo, in my opinion, is still the king of emotion. So if you guys want to generate videos of people laughing, in this case, the real Mona Lisa is having a really good laugh. You can see I just typed in she, she's laughing hysterically. I can also make the person cry. And in this case, I specified that I want to see a teardrop roll down their face, which you can see right over there. And it does a very good job. This looks very natural and very realistic. Uh, here's another example where they have an expression of extreme shock and fear. And another example over here of this woman, she just gave birth to a newborn child. She's also crying and she even kisses her newborn. So if you guys want to portray some sort of emotion, uh, I think that Hilo does an exceptionally good job. 
You can generate these disintegration effects with your videos and it's very simple to do. As long as you craft in your prompt, all you need to include in the prompt is suddenly the person disintegrates or the object disintegrates. As long as you include the term disintegrates within your prompt, uh, you're going to get a really interesting result. Uh, so it could maybe be used as a way to do teleportation as well. Maybe they <laughs> teleport into a different location. It's completely up to you how you want to use that. So here's one example. Uh, here's another one with this monk. And you can see it keeps everything else within that scene uh, consistent, but just the monk disintegrates and he's being teleported to another realm. So play around with that and have some fun. You can also experiment with generating text in a video. So in this case, I've got this guy spray painting the term Hilo 2 onto a wall. And I think it looks amazing uh, with this result. Uh, here's another one with a monkey that's holding a sign that says hot spring and chill. And I think he definitely needs a friend to be chilling with him. Uh, here's one where it says subscribe where the text is actually made out of moss. And you've got all these in insects crawling on it. Uh, so you can get some interesting results. Is, does it work 100% of the time? No. You know, sometimes it's going to mess up and the text is not going to be legible. But when it does work, you still get some really interesting results. So yes, go ahead and play around with generating text with your video results as well. I do want to mention a limitation. Maybe you can regard this as nitpicking, but I feel like every AI video generator still does not understand fighting. Uh, I feel like Hilo 2 is probably the video generator that's the closest uh, to getting this right. But if you pay attention to this, I mean, obviously there's things that just look off. Now, this video is quite hilarious, but if I look at another fighting video, I mean, there's weird contorting and, you know, a whole lot of inconsistencies over here. This just doesn't look great. Uh, so hopefully, you know, AI gets to the point where it can master uh, what fighting should actually look like in videos. Uh, but it's getting close. It's getting close. Like I said, Hilo 2 is probably the closest it's ever been and then dancing um, it depends on the type of dance this video model sometimes can generate some good looking dancing videos uh, but there's just some weird contorting uh, that happens with the body so maybe you can call it nitpicking but for me fighting and dancing still seems to be a limitation with the Hilo 2 video model Another limitation, and this is not just with Hilo 2, but if you have videos with a lot of people, and especially tiny faces like this, you can see it looks like a jumbled mess. Uh, so hopefully the AI will improve where it can generate better looking faces at a distance. But this is a limitation that you'll have to deal with. Another major limitation is the fact that these videos generate without sound, right? If you guys have been using VO3, we've been spoiled uh, with videos that actually get sound generated with the visuals. But I do have an alternative for this. So if you've generated videos using Hilo 2, you can use MM Audio. So the link is in the, in the description for this. You'll just need a Hugging Face account, but it's 100% free. You just upload your video over here and then you type in a prompt describing what the audio should sound like, you set the duration, you click on submit, and now that video that previously does not have sound is going to sound like this. So I'll click on play and have a listen. All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. Now, I know there's so much competition within the AI video space, but my honest opinion is that Hilo 2 definitely ranks very high as a competitor. Is it better than Kling 2.1 and VO3? It's quite hard to tell because Hilo 2 can do certain things with physics that those platforms can't do. So every single platform has its own strengths and weaknesses, but I would definitely rank Hilo 2 up there, possibly in the top three uh, AI video generators at the moment. It just does a really good job uh, at bringing your images to life and it's got very good prompt adherence. So I would highly recommend it. Anyway, you guys are super awesome. So stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials and goodbye. Hello, awesome human. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content.